and welcome in everybody glad you're with us two of the best teams in the game square off it's the Miami Marlins taking on the Minnesota Twins and now for the Marlins Brian De La Cruz here comes a pinch Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in to score in position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. That was always And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. And he's got a double. Comes through with the RBI. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. He flexes his power with that swing. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A gigantic blast. It's 4 nothing, And that's his fifth straight game leaving the yard. And Boog, if he goes a game or two without hitting a home run, he's going to feel like he's going to get sit down to the minor leagues. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Now, here is Jesus Sanchez. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And up next for Miami, Nick Gordon blasted two home runs in last night's game. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking. Foul ball. Well, they've been able to score four runs off him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Taylor Trammell. That one lifted to left. Quan heads after it. Makes the catch for the out. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. The catcher, number four, Nick Fortes. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Adios, pelota. Their third home run of the inning. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well at the plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it. And it went a long way. Rocco Baldelli out of the dugout now, and he's going to make a change. Bailey Ober is due. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Jordan Balazovic on the pitch here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. 
every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And here is Nick Senzel. That one hops against the fence. He's in at second with a one-out double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing. There's a swing and a drive. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 8 nothing. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. That one ripped right center field. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Run comes in from second, and they now lead by nine. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got a good pitch to drive. He's short with his bat pass to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow pool. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. One down. Willie Adamas stands in. He's already homered here in this one. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. And now the first baseman, Jake Berger. He's already homered in this game. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A massive home run. Make that four homers in the inning. It's 11-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. The pitcher on here, Caleb Fieldball. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Wastes no time there. It's solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Slides, but it gets by him. And that extends the inning. So two down, digging in, Taylor Trammell. He's 0 for 1. In the air, left field, down the line. Quan makes the catch. And that is that. Explode offensively for 11 runs in the inning. Yeah, his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Foul ball still 0-2. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground to third. On to first. Out. One up, one down. So up next for Minnesota, Edouard Julien. Swings through that. Lopez, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball. A changeup, a slurve, a curve, and he works in a sinker. Sanchez makes the grab, and there's two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Royce Lewis. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ball, Ball one, no strikes. Not giving him a pitch to hit there isn't a bad thing. He's dealing with a great first pitch hitter up there. Swing and a miss. 